welcome guys so this province also uh i took it from 50 challenge province in the probability and i think this problem is interesting so i i took it and i solved it uh to you guys so this is the called bollocks box so in electron uh so like the election not electron two candidates uh albert and benjamin have in uh, the bollocks box a b a vote respectively and a is larger than b for example three two if the bollocks are random in and tail a why is it chance that at least once after the first tail candidates have the same number of tails okay so uh, let me first explain the situation so the situation is like for example a equals three b equals two uh, you can take uh, all the possible sequence so basically these are all the possible sequence and uh so basically uh, what we interesting is uh at least uh once uh after the first totally they have the same number of tail so basically uh this one does not have this one does not have, but this one has right from here you have a b a b so in this case so this subsequence a is equal to one b is equal to one so they are the same and for this one this must be the same b a uh, b a a b so this one, this one, this is this one, this is this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so total you have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we total have 8. We total have 8. And how many of them? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. Okay, so uh, the number of total is just you can count just the uh, five to choose choose three because uh, you can choose a and take the position so this is basically uh, ten right so total we have ten and then we want to ask about uh, how many how many of them how many of them okay uh, what is the chance so we ask about the probability okay so you guys can think like the ten min uh every time you want and after that we can start solving okay so the solution uh, so basically there are multiple ways to solve it but i like to solve it by more mathematical way okay so more mathematical way okay so i so uh i define okay i define uh, this type of sequence uh this type of sequence i mean there's a if if they have the same chain once they have the same totally i okay they have the same numbers i I define this type of sequence, uh, like called uh, I don't know, maybe maybe uh, maybe just say that uh, okay. So I call it like uh, okay. So I I call this type of sequence just called uh, uh, proper. Like uh, they have the the proper. So I call it, I call this type of sequence, I call it proper. I just call it random. I just call it, uh, I just randomly choose and then I call it proper. Okay. So the question is that how many properly? How many C sequence uh, for general A, B are proper? Okay. So uh, I prove a theorem one. Uh, the theorem is for uh, if B is the, if if the initial is start uh, so I would say a larger than b. If the initial, if the initial is b, then this c uh, sequence must be proper. Okay, so this is trivial that uh, because if once you start from b, right? So uh, if you start from b, then you know ultimately a will larger than b. So it must have this. It must have some points that the number of a b is the same as number of a. If there's no such time points, then finally the the, the b the number of point the number of b the b will larger than a. So who is this to contradict me? So we prove the first fact that uh, if b is initial, if 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 b is in if b is in the first place, then this must sequence must be proper. So we can calculate the probability that b in in the first. So this is just b divided by a plus b. So this is trivial, right? B 
because it, because in the first p in the first position, uh, we have total the B, and uh, the total we have total B, and uh, the total is the A plus B. So we have B of them. So we just so for the to to uh, for B to be here, it's just B over A plus B. So this is a probability. Okay, second second theorem is uh, our main points, and once we prove these two theorem, then we can solve. Okay, so if x is proper, then uh, if I do a change that uh, if I change a to b and b to a, so I call this change as I call it sigma of so sigma of x is proper. Okay, so we can uh, go back to our example and check that. Suppose this is proper, so like a b a a b, which is proper. If I make a change, I become b a b b a. So this is proper, right? Uh, this is also proper. So if I change this one, it become proper. This one become b b a a b, which is also proper. So you can say that sigma x is proper. Okay. So. So now we have an answer. Uh, so so those the, the so this proof is very uh, tr uh basically trivial. Because uh, at because at one time at one time, the number of a equals to the number of b. So if you change b to a, then number of a is still equal to number of b at the at this change. Okay, at 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 this new sequence. Okay, so we have two theorem. One theorem said that uh, if b is initial, that the b proper. Then the second is that uh, if x is proper, then sigma x is proper. Okay. So uh, we we so uh, we can say that the number of x is proper. Have two choice. The one is that the number the uh, x has. Uh, the fr uh as, okay. I should say the first place is a. Plus the first place is b so you have two possibility one is the first place is a one is the first place is, is b and then we already solved this we already solved this so we know that there are uh totally the probability is this right so again is what we need to find is the first place in a how many so if the first place is in a then how many how many uh probs uh, what's the probability that it will be proper. So the the main is that we need to find uh, x uh but probability for uh a is in the first place. Okay, place and uh, of x and uh, x is proper. We want to find the probability of this, right? But we already proved that uh, if you if you there are any any sequence which which contains a in the first place, then we take a sigma. Then it be sigma. Then it must be. Good. Then it then it will become the initial place. The the in it will become the sequence which has the uh, which b is in the first position. So so which tell and uh, you if you take the sigma on all the sequence for the b is initial uh, in the first place, then the result will be another a. So which tell you that uh, if it's so so this sigma basically is one one uh, onto met. So it will change all the sequence in the first A to a sequence to a to a sequence. Uh the first place is B. So this tells you that this is just the same as a B is in the first place. And uh X is proper. But when B is in the first place, the S must be proper. So the answer is just P over a plus b so the total probability is just 2b divided by a plus b 2b divided by a plus b okay so we can use the formula to check so in this case a is 3 b is 2 so we total have 2 divided by 5 times 2 so it's 4 uh, 4 points divided by 5 4 divided by 5 so it's 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 so this is the same as this this is the same as this Okay, so what I think uh, this problem is very interesting because you can formulate this into the like uh, like the symmetry. Uh, the you can use the 
the symmetry properties in the mathematics to help you solve this type of uh, interesting question. Uh, so this is much more uh, is similar as the textbook solution, but I use more mathematical way to say that. So I, I define so-called sigma and I define what I call x is proper. And I try to use uh, more mathematical uh, uh, terminology to, to show this is the answer. Okay, I hope you guys like the video and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next video.